if a dating quiz is the best distraction from the disaster you've made of your life. But hey, what do I know? You're the one in charge here, Jala. You better answer honestly, though. You can't keep any secrets from me. If people are gonna stare, it should be for the right reasons. No way I'd go on a second date. Oh, sure. What's the point of a romantic partner if they're not a status symbol? my space that's just my personality okay huh I didn't know sarcasm and emotional repression counted as a personality for a bit if I didn't feel the same way it'd be easier for both of us why doesn't this quiz have any sane answers like I don't know say something but saying something's what got us into this situation in the first place this is why your romantic life is a trash fire Your plan can't go wrong if you didn't make one in the first place. Speaking of plans... Holy hell! Are you ever planning to call me back, Jala? I haven't heard your voice in six months. Your sister's such a bore. <laughs> Good thing you have me instead. You're the same person. We're really not. You imagined me with her face, but I'm the voice inside your head. I know things about you she could never begin to understand. We're way closer than sisters, Jala. I want to be the best. But your best is never enough, is it? And whose fault is that, Ma? We put too much pressure on you, Jala. No wonder you cracked. Just say you're disappointed, Appa. I know you are. I let everyone down. Ouch. Still think it's a good idea to go home? They all hate you, Jala. Can you blame them? Shut up. Ugh, fine. Guess I'll leave you to skate away your feelings. None of your business. Just answer the question, Jala. Tyler? Don't I deserve an answer? Isn't that why you're on a bus back home? Because you owe me an answer? Yeah. You're right. Did you love me, Jala? I did. <laughs> I thought it would help to hear you say that. But it just makes everything worse. I loved you, Jala. You already knew that. You broke my heart. Before the results, why don't we just ask your exes what they think of you? Should be illuminating. Selfish. Lion. Arrogant. 
But have you ever asked yourself why you need to be liked so much? Timber Hills, our hometown. I still don't get why we're back here. You're like a serial killer driven to return to the scene of the crime. I'm not here to relive the past. I'm here to make up for it. You don't fix things, Jala. You break them. I can change. You're just going to hurt yourself. All you're doing is picking at scabs. Coming back here was a mistake. Leaving was the mistake. You're being selfish, as usual. I don't know why I even bother trying to help you. You're hopeless. We can't hang out at the diner all night. You need to call someone to give you a ride home. Who's it gonna be? <sighs> Maybe I should just call Tyler and get it over with. I mean, yes, Tyler's your ex bestie, but she's also your ex, the ex. And given the way you ended things, she probably hates my guts. Probably. Okay, she definitely hates me. Sorry, sis. The truth hurts, but it'll set you free. I could call home and hope that Dad picks up instead of Mom. It's after 10 p.m. What if you give Dad a heart attack? Mom's had him on a low cholesterol diet since we were kids. You really want to test that. You know he sneaks cashew nuts from the cupboard when she's not looking. Aruni's probably still up. That's gonna go well. You haven't called her in months. Why would you? You have me to talk to instead. I'm clearly the superior version. But crucially, you can't drive a car. Wow. Way to rub it in. You think I like only existing in your head? Uh, Jala, remember when I said coming back here was a mistake? Is it a good time to say I told you so? What? Already? I hope you're ready for some long-delayed emotional catharsis. Because your third-grade boyfriend just walked in the door. Sergio? You look surprised to see me, Jala. Or are you just admiring the view? Neither, actually. I just can't believe you're still following me around. I just got off the bus 10 minutes ago, dude. Whoa, really? What a weird coincidence. Must be fate, huh? Or a testament to the enduring power of Sergio's thirst for you. So, it's been a while. Three years, two months, and 14 days. <clears throat> um, <laughs> did I just say that out loud? I take everything back. This is the most fun I've had in months. Sergio's had it bad for Jala since Mrs. Garcia made them project partners in third grade. His crush survived the geography club after school incident, puberty, and Jala's extremely public on-again, off-again romance with Tyler all through high school. His thirst is kind of pathetic. But you can't deny he has stamina. <clears throat> anyway, how's Jennifer? Oh, her? We broke up a while ago. Yeah, if six hours counts as a while. You're single? <laughs> Seriously. Would you believe I am too? Oh! 
Oh. Come on, Sergio. Let's dance. Did I mention I spent a year abroad? I learned a lot of new moves in Milan. I hope you're ready, because I have a few new moves of my own. What do I have to lose? Your dignity. Oh, wait. Just remember, Jala, there are no winners in a psychodrama battle with your third grade boyfriend. Only losers. Just kidding. You could both win the prize of friendship and emotional maturity. How does that sound? It's not a real prize. Your soul is just a blue book filled with gold stars, isn't it? Painting. Painting. says I'm irresistible, and my mom is always right! Ugh. I still think about our first kiss. You remember? On the trip to the Seattle Aquarium in third grade, it was so magical. Our lips touching, bathed in the blue-green light of the tank, surrounded by moon jelly. You told everybody in third grade exactly how magical it was. It was mortifying. I didn't know it was a secret. I mean, you were such a weedy little nerd back then. Were you ashamed of me? Is that why you ignored me all through middle school? Don't tell me you're still this oblivious. I was way out of your league in middle school. I like you even more when you're mean to me. That explains a lot. Third grade was pretty traumatic, you know? My parents got divorced, my dad left town. And never really looked back. His mom spoiled him rotten to make up for it, which didn't work, obviously. You're the only good thing I can remember from that time. We shared something special, Jala. My dad says I should seize every opportunity. I'm not letting this one go. My mom says she sees girls look at me everywhere I go. But you're the only one I have eyes for. Then maybe you need to get your eyes checked. Hey, Jala, have you noticed Sergio's really thirsty for you? You should try using that to your advantage. Indeed. little boy hiding behind all that swagger. Indeed. Oh. Does your mom still pick out your clothes for you? Or do you just have the same taste? Guess what, Jala? I've been training with your Auntie Chandra. Auntie Chandra would never let you skip leg day. Bulky legs would ruin the fall of my pants. I'm going for a more elegant silhouette. You really care what your parents think, huh? And you don't? Dad's been giving me mustache grooming tips. Is it paying off? It's every girl's dream to date a man who takes grooming tips from her father. Right? I thought you'd like it. <laughs> you can't deny we look good together, Jala. Think about it. You and me 
We could run this whole town. Or at the very least, my dad's used car empire. Maybe you want to live in your daddy's shadow your whole life, but all I want is to get away from everyone's expectations. Okay, fair enough. I'll support you. You can do anything you want with me by your side. Do you really want to take over your dad's business? I want him to be proud of me. He thinks I'm shallow, that I won't amount to anything. Everyone does. Who cares what your dad thinks? Your mom thinks the sun shines out of your butt, and she's the one who actually stuck around. See? That's exactly what I need in my life, Jala. Someone to tell me the truth, even when I don't want to hear it. I can't let you go again. I've been waiting a long time to get a few things off my chest. Jala, I have loved you since our hands met reaching for the same tub of lime green Play-Doh in third grade. Love me? This is the longest conversation we've had in over a decade. Yeah? And whose fault is that? Uh, yours, because you're so catastrophically weird when we do talk. This thing between us, it's real, Jala, and I'm gonna prove it to you. is Sergio's inner world. In here, he's the person he desperately wishes he could be out there. Cool, smooth, invulnerable to attack. Impeccably waxed. Focus. If you want to get anywhere, you have to shatter that invulnerability by summoning a terrifying psychological specter. Like most South Asian men, all it takes to destroy Sergio's ego is a single word from his mom. But since we can't bring her into this, we have to summon the next best thing, our mom. Indeed. your mom into this you started it i guess it's a good sign you want me to meet your parents with all the toxic masculinity sergio's got going on i kind of suspect he'd be really easy to put into a rage try it indeed of me in your locker in middle school? The janitor made you throw it out at the end of the semester. It wasn't a shrine. It was a tasteful collection of basketball memorabilia. Indeed. stick around even when you insult me I guess yeah it's kind of a power trip an ego boost when I need one <laughs> so you admit it I make you feel good about yourself you are both terrible people Those muscles and bravado are fooling anyone? I see right through you. You're the same insecure little boy in a bigger package. 
Uh, I'm starting to feel a little woozy. I'm kind of busy right now. Hey, genius, if you go down, I go down too. So you better do something about it. Hinting. Hinting. So your parents screwed you up as a kid. Big whoop. You're an adult now. Time to take responsibility for your behavior. Wow. You are such a hypocrite. Don't distract me, I'm winning. I get my temper from my mom's side of the family. My cousin actually died of apoplectic rage. Dude, you gotta get into yoga or something. I felt sorry for you at school. Not much has changed. At least you feel something. I can work with that. I don't even care if you win. In fact, I kind of want you to crush me. You should see a professional because that's really not my thing. How is he still such a sore loser? You got issues with your parents? Welcome to the club. Doesn't give you the right to act like a jerk. It's time for you to leave grade school behind, Sergio. Sorry I came on so strong, Dala. I've had this fantasy of you in my head for so long. It's time I got to know the real you. I'm ready to move on if you are. I'm glad we figured that out, cause I kinda need a favor. Where's the emergency? You told me one of the neighborhood cats got run over. Yeah, about that. I lied. Uh, so I take it you didn't get me an interview with one of the skate punks? No, better. Sergio has some big news. Jala's back! She's in Timber Hills. And she's not with Jennifer anymore. Hmm, who could have seen that coming? So what? So, we're all Jala's exes. I thought everyone would want to know. Jelly Beans is back? That is big news. So, did you confess your love, or did you throw up before you got the words out? Uh, I did. Confess, I mean. Not throw up. Sorry, Tyler. I know you two have your whole big doomed romance thing. Had. There's a crater where we used to be. It's extinct. I'm over her. Whatever, Tyler. I'm gonna make her fall for me. And then crush her. That doesn't sound very emotionally healthy. Oh, what isn't healthy about long overdue revenge for being humiliated in middle school by your first crush? Ooh, fiery and gorgeous. How have we never met before? I'd remember you. Down, boy. She doesn't play for your team. Ahem. I was thinking we could all get closure. Maybe even be friends. <laughs> oh, wait.
Wait, you're joking, right? The rest of you can do whatever the hell you like, but trust me on this. The last thing I want is to be Jala Jairatna's friend. Indeed. Jala, you're awake. I'm not used to sleeping somewhere new. This is your home, Jala, not some hotel. Maybe it wouldn't feel so new if you had visited in the last three years. I made breakfast, but don't expect to be waited on hand and foot while you're staying here. Since Aruni moved out, I'm out of the habit of cleaning up after messy children. Did you guys get into a fight or something? No, Jala. I'm not so terrible a mother that both my children feel the need to flee into the night. It wasn't about you. Liar. Well, it wasn't just about you. Oh, yes. Your dad and me staying up worried sick night after night, wondering whether you were okay. Wondering what we had done wrong. Abort mission, Jala. Abort. Abort. What we did to deserve being cut out of your life? Of course. None of that was about us. Are you and Dad doing okay on your own? Empty nest and all that? Aruni is not the one who's been giving us sleepless nights. Better question is, are you okay? I take it that girl finally got tired of you. Just say I told you so, because you did the night I left town. Did I? I can't even remember. It's been so long. To be fair, it was more a screaming argument than a conversation. Well, you were right about her. And you were right about me. I know you, Jala. Or at least, I thought I did. She's not answering my texts. I wonder why. You better make it right with her, Jala. And soon, she's getting married at the end of the month. That's kind of important news to share, Mom. Usually, I'm all aboard the blame Mom for everything train. But I think this signal failure's on you, sweetie. This is your mess, Jala. You clean it up. Morning, Jala Banana. It's good to see you, Apache. You too, sweetie. You know, you're my favorite younger daughter. Hmm? You're home, back where you belong. That's all that matters. I made a mistake when I left. I need to put it right. Well, at least you can admit it was a mistake. That's something. It's not going to be the same as it was, Jala. But that's okay too, you know? I need to talk to Aruni. Do I even know who she's marrying? Do you even know if you're invited to the wedding? Amma! It's Aruni's choice, Jala. Not ours. Don't look so defeated, Jala. This is a small town full of gossiping aunties. How hard could it be to track your sister down if you put your mind to it? So, I guess we just skate around Arnie's favorite spots downtown till we find her? <laughs> Do you even want to find her? It's not going to be a fun conversation. I've already had excruciating conversations with my parents, several diner patrons, and my third grade boyfriend. It's not going to be fun. It's going to be hard. But I'm not afraid of hard work, unlike you. I'm just saying. Maybe you should give her the space she so clearly wants. Ah, oh, what's the point in arguing? Let's earnestly bulldoze our way ahead, as usual.
sorry. Can't help you helping another customer. I'm the only one here. Are you Jala? Jala Jayaratna? I've been looking for you all over town. Sorry, dude. Did we go to school together or something? Your party thought we'd be a good match. My grandma certainly has interesting taste in men. You really didn't know I was coming? No, I really didn't. Oh, well. Hope you like surprises, Jala. Because I'm here, and I'm ready to settle down with a girl like you. Indeed. Is my pomade keeping its hold? <sighs> Your determination just makes you more attractive to me. Shame, I think you're pathetic. Now, scram. Oh, Jala, it's so good to see you. You are in possession of a minority opinion, Auntie. Nonsense. Half the town's happy to see you, and the rest is happy to have an opportunity to gossip. You are utterly terrifying, Auntie Chandra. And don't you forget it. So, weird thing just happened. Your grandmother sent an army of potential suitors to Timber Hills to ambush you? I know Fati loves me and all, but Aruni's always been her favorite. Well, I was here first, you know. Am I gonna be dodging marriage proposals every time I walk down the street? Hmm. Do you want the honest answer or a comforting one? Hit me with the truth. Your Fati was disappointed her daughter didn't marry an Indian, and now her beloved granddaughter, despite her best efforts, is marrying someone even further from home. She's shifted her hopes onto you, the remaining grandchild. Maybe a little too much truth there, Auntie Chandra. Ugh. Just what I need. Thank God Bhakti's 8,000 miles away. That should give me some breathing space. Uh, Jala, you know Arani's getting married in a month, right? Oh my God. Yes, my dear. Bhakti's coming. Here. To Timber Hills. She'll be here at the end of the month. Sorry, sweetie. How about I clean up that skateboard of yours? Maybe it'll make you feel better. Hmm? 